Hi guys, I'm going to show you why you should be using Google Forms, how to create Google Form, what can you do with it, and few tips and tricks with Google Forms you will not find easy by yourself. Google Forms are amazing and I can hardly believe they are free. I've been using them for years and I will tell you all I know about them and in my humble opinion that is all you ever need to know about them. To find them you need to log in into your Google Drive account. They are also unappreciated as to find them you have to click My Drive, then More and then you will find Google Forms. You can choose from template or create one from scratch. So why do we need Google Forms? If you need to collect any kind of information from anybody, you need some sort of online form. I use Google Forms for years, not for the beauty of design, but they work, always. All my important online forms on my websites are Google Forms. There are never any hiccups because WordPress and many other online PHP forms can get buggy. Not Google Forms. You can be sure when someone clicks submit, you will get the data, each time. You don't need to have a website either. Google provides a link to your form on your Google Drive. Beautiful. Let's create Google form. I can choose from one of these templates and modify it, but let's start with a blank form. This is our form. I will change the title. Let's make first thing we ask people's name. That will be short answer. We will make this field required. This icon is where we can change how our form looks header, colors and other stuff. Even now we can preview our form by clicking on this eye. And this is how it looks so far. To make new question or field we just click this plus sign again. Let's make second field linear scale. I will not go into any more fields now, you see how it works. I will just show you that by clicking import questions you can import question from an existing form. Beside questions you can add titles, images, videos and sections. I will talk about sections a little later. At responses tab we will see our answers or feedback. This slider means that the form is active and it is accepting answers. This green thing creates spreadsheet is very useful. It will store our answers in a Google Sheet on your Google Drive, just like Microsoft Excel. You can download that and do whatever you want with it. This settings link is a place where we can further customize our form. I will only add under presentation a thank you message. You will explore it further by yourself. Now we want to show our form to the world. To do that click this send button. We can send it by email, make a link to our form. In fact there will be a link to this form in the description of this video so you can see it live or you can embed a form into your website. I often do this third option. Our form is done and alive, but we need to get notified when someone fills out the data. Under responses tab, click these three dots and choose get email notifications for new responses. Let's test it. And under responses we have first data now. Let's see if we got an email that someone has submitted the form. Yes, it's here. When we click it, it brings us to the same responses tab. Here is where the tips are beginning. Let's add email field into our form as the first tip is about email notifications. To do that just click this settings link and choose collect email addresses. If you want that person who filled out the form get a copy of the form to his or her email address, check this response recipient box also. If we test it, we see that the person, my other email account, got the response with all the answers that were written, but I got only the same response notification as always. I don't like that. I want entire data to my email, not just notification. Uh, to do that, click these three dots and choose add-ons. In a search box type notifications. This second one is the one we need. I have tested several of them. This one is made by this guy. 
Uh, when you click install, you will need to choose the Google account you want to use. Choose the same one on which you are making this form. You will get security alert email from Google that you have given access to this add-on. That is usual practice. When you have done that, this icon will appear. Click it and create email notification. Now, let's make notification a rule. This is free version and you can have 20 notifications per day. For $29 per year, you will get premium version with 400 notifications. Don't worry, if you pass those 20 emails per day, Google will keep on sending you notifications that you have an entry into your form, but to see it, you will need to log into it like before. With this plugin, you will get first 20 complete entries to your email. Let's test it. It is here in our responses tab. And it is here in our mailbox. Both emails. One from Google that notifies us about new entry like before and one from the plugin with complete form data we have entered. Beside that, Google sent an email to the email address which submitted the form, just like before. So everything is working like it should. Great. Here is tip number two. Sometimes. Today everything is working, but sometimes you will not able to see those plugin settings where we made our notification rule number one. An error message will appear. If that happens to you, open the browser in incognito mode or private mode. Log into your Google Drive and go to your form. In incognito mode, you will be able to enter those plugin changes. It helped me several times. Tip number three. You might need to have your form visible only to people with password. You made some quiz, for example, or you just don't want general audience submitting your form. Something. So, to do that, let me first disable this email field. We can add email field after the name only as a plain short answer. We will not enable email collecting in settings. We can still enable that senders get that email, not from Google like before, but from the plugin we have installed, like this. Edit our rule and click this notify form submitter. Here we choose your email field. Back to the password. Click at the top and then add section. Here we will add a field short answer. Make it required. And under these three dots, response validation. Choose a regular expression that matches, for example, go for big K. Let's preview our form. Here it is. Password is first. If you enter wrong answer, we will not go any further. Now, let's type go for big K and we can go to the next section, which is form itself. I will submit it once more to be sure that all the emails are arriving like they should. Ok, entry is in responses tab. Let's check emails. Here they are, one email from Google and one from the plugin in my inbox. And here is the one to the sender from the plugin and that rule one we set. So guys, everything is working, passwords, email notifications, isn't that great. That's all I have regarding Google Forms, I hope I was helpful. Don't forget to like, share this video, maybe even subscribe to my small channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye.